Hi, welcome back, Comic Book Gallery. I'm your host, Joaquin. How we doing, people? So, uh, this is a follow-up to the um, Ontario Revolution Comic Con. And even though I had a bad experience, I was able to make up for it by grabbing some books. So, I wanted to show you the books that I grabbed. And I also grabbed some pops. So, I'll show you that at the end. So all these books um, I was able to get at half cover price. Uh, usually dealers would do this at the con. They'll raise the price to the, uh, they'll raise, they'll double the price and then they'll be like 50% off. And so you're like, wow, this is such a great deal. But if you start to look at the condition of the books, you're like, oh, okay. So really, so first example of this, I picked up uh, Hulk 207. And as you can see right here, it is, it's a little, it's chipped up, but the artwork makes that spot look really jacked up, and it's, and it's not, yeah. So, you know, it's in, it's in fine condition. It's probably like a six, maybe a six, five, maybe like a seven. You know, if I were to get it uh, pressed and clean, but um, I'm just trying to fill up books. They're like uh, $10 books around that range. So at the end of the year, when I look at my collection and see how far, it, uh, what books I picked up for value wise. And also I'm looking for covers that um, they look good, you know, so. So Hulk 207, Credible Hulk Alone Against the Defenders. I like this cover. Pretty. All right. Next up, uh. Daredevil 205, and so, um, Daredevil 205, this is a, uh, is there anything special about this? No, just Mr. Hyde, um, love the artwork on this, this is a cool story where Daredevil outsmarts Mr. Hyde, because he can't really go toe-to-toe -to -toe with him, you know, just, you know, I mean, Mr. Hyde takes on, like, Thor and Hercules, now, he took them on back in the days, I don't think Mr. Hyde could take them the, the way that they have their power levels now. And who's getting excited for Batman, people? Got my little Joker hat. Woo! I'm going to be taking my nephew Apollo to go see that when it comes out. So I was able to pick up another Daredevil book. And this one's 237. And it's Claw. And again, love the artwork. And... I've read some of these stories already. I mean, this happened back in December. So. But here was a Daredevil book that I really wanted to get. And I want to complete this uh, story of the Mutant Massacre. So, this is a really good Sabretooth story. So, I'm probably going to do a video on this. And I uh, picked up some uh, Spider-Man. Spectacular Spider-Man. This one's number 85, and this one's like 14, but I got it for 7. And then he didn't charge tax either, so it's a straight cash deal. So, I felt good about that. Um, Spectacular Spider-Man 138. This is where the government is um, tracking down Spider-Man, I believe the storyline is. Probably what I'm going to do a video about it. It's a good story. I like it. And then, you know, you have the tarantula. And so he's teamed up with the tarantula to take down Spider-Man. <laughs> Poor Spidey. So that's a $15 book. So I think he just rounded it down to seven. Yeah, he actually gave me a really good deal. Because then on top of that, he just... I think he took it even a, a little bit lower, too. Uh, so we got Avengers 105. Nothing really special here. Uh, you got the Beast Brood. And that's it. I mean, it's just a Avengers 105. So the $20 book, the $10 book, it might actually, with like a pressing and a cleaning, maybe it can, you know, fetch 20 bucks. But hey, you know, I'm trying to get my Avengers collection going. No peeking. No peeking. No, nah, I don't care. All right, so uh, Avengers 113, uh, you got Wanda here, you killed him, world, you know, I got comma and then I got to raise my voice, world, oh, okay, you killed the man I love, 
Wouldn't it be that you killed the man I loved because he's dead? But I guess you're speaking in the present tense. Yeah, English was not my strong point. All right, so says your young man shall slay visions. Oh, cool, you know, one thirteen. Nothing really special about this book. Just me, just collecting Avenger books. Yeah, this again, twenty dollar book, pay ten. But I love the cover on this. Uh, you know, you got Mr. Fantastic, Curry. We must invade Dr. Doom's royal palace one way or another. Oh, I gotta see. And then Dr. Doom's like, the only way you will enter my inner sanctum is dead. Dun, dun, dun. All right. But still, cool cover. Like it. So... You know, after I got back from that Comic-Con, I was, like, a little just let down. But then when I saw these books, and I brought them home, and I started reading them and looking at them and looking some of them up, I was like, okay, this is cool. So we got uh, Fantastic Four 258. Again, I got another Doom cover. I like it. Um, you get to see the reflection of his hand in the gauntlet. So world's greatest comic magazine all right then i picked up some thor people and so ten dollar book five dollar book the sword of siegfried and if for those of you who are not on um subscribers to my instagram go check it out most of these books have already been posted on instagram a long time ago and i i post every day and I usually mix in, like, the new stuff and, you know, pops and anything else that I'm getting. So, um, I think I even put uh, under the caption for this store, uh, 297, is that, um, you know, they were talking about the sword of Frank Free, Siegfried. And I was like, you know, anybody can make it sound dramatic if it would be like the couch that Joaquin sits on when he's watching cartoons, you know? Put a little banner under that thing. There you go. All right. So, uh, two dollar book, four hundred three. The enchant, the enchantress and the executioner. Uh, Tales of Asgard. Again, nice little Thor book. And now we get into the X Men. So, I paid eleven dollars for this book, and the condition. Excuse me. I mean, the book really does need a cleaning, and it also would need a press. So it's not bad. I mean, I didn't feel bad about uh, paying eleven dollars for it. Um, I did need this book in my collection to to continue with my X Men run goal, and that's pretty much what I uh, finished off with. So X Men two fifteen. I don't even know why he had this at ten dollars. I mean, this book should have been listed at five and then two fifty. But X Men books, you know, anything under uh, between a hundred and two hundred, those are really good pickups, and you can get those in nine six as well all day long. Uh, two twenty. I want uh, Storm's already lost her power. Um. And she's really pissed off at Forge. $10 book. Again, I don't think it should have been listed at 10 I mean, it's not even close to even being a near mint. Probably like a 7 to a 7.5, maybe an 8. But I don't know. I'd have to look the price up. Another book. 224 Again, you should have had this at 5 But even at 5 I felt comfortable picking this up. And trying to finish up my run. X-Men Annual. The face. The twin threats of the Serpent Society. Uh, then it's got Jubilation Day. Three dollars. It's a fun read. Both of the annuals were fun reads, actually. Uh, X-Men Annual 8, and, 
that's it, people. I mean, I got I got a ton of books. And uh, this was the face I was making when I left the Comic-Con. I was just, like, really disappointed. It was just, like... So, Mandalorian and Grogu love the show. And then I was able to get this for 15 And I was like, yeah! So I got this for 15 And I think I paid 12 for this. So I was pretty happy, like I said. Got these pops. Um, I will be putting this in my Instagram. I already did the Mandalorian. I think so. I have to go through my stream. But I know I didn't post Grimlock, and I'll be posting him with my other Transformers. So, you know, stop by, check it out. Um, like I said, I was able to spend some time with my cousin, which was cool. And I was able to buy some nice books that I should probably take a little bit better care of. And just tossing them around. So, you know, didn't get Chris Claremont signed. Uh, doing my homework on it now, seeing what's going on. Now that I know he charges 10 bucks a book, gonna really get it. Probably only gonna take like two books to get signed X Men 205. And then look at the best book that um, I have. So there's a couple of X-Men books, not not this one, but I think I have a better copy of this. Or maybe that's the reason why I got that, I can't even remember now. So that's it people, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you're new to the channel, thanks for stopping by. Hope you subscribe and uh, hope I'll catch you in the future. Later people.